Hello and welcome back everybody. It's time to predict the scores for week five of this 2022-2023 Premier League season. It is bank holiday weekend yeah. and it looks like you're on the uh, the Brains SA Lager. Happy to be Cymru, of course. Fantastic. Last week in game week four though, Nathan, absolutely beautiful score. Probably the biggest in uh, this channel's history. Oh, Louis easily. Smith gaining 10 correct scores. How is that possible? And six of them being perfect which means Louis got a, a score for last game week of 26 points absolutely brilliant um, how that affects the leaderboard overall though Jaden FC 555 is at the top of our leaderboard on 52 and a half points and now Louis Smith 17 has crept up into second place yep. with 50 points and Josh is in third place so a brilliant game week Liverpool Smashing nine against Bournemouth as well. So uh, it was um, a great g game week for some and not for others. But let's crack on, make some predictions for week five. Okay, so first up, we'll start with the Tuesday night games at half past seven. Now, they're all on BT for this game yeah. week. That's very unfortunate since we're Sky people. But anyway, moving on. Well, we are watching Cardiff on Tuesday. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Tuesday, half past seven. We've got Fulham Brighton. Now, Brighton, 1 0 victory against Leeds. That's a good result. Yeah. That's a very good result considering the way Leeds have started this season. Uh, Pascal Gross popping up with the goals again. And they're coming up against the Fulham side, who actually played quite well against Arsenal, but Arsenal were just another level on that day. Still top of the leaderboard for them, of course. I, re I don't know which way to take it with either of these, because they both had a really good start to the season uh, in both of their different ways. They are starting to teeter um, a little bit Fulham, but look at, the, look at that, who they played against in Arsenal. They were absolutely superb. Stalemate for me, 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, yeah, I think it will be tight. Brighton are looking very, very good. Currently in fourth position. One winning three of their four games. I think Fulham surprised quite a lot of people how they've started this season. It was a bit really. I think he's amongst the goals, is he three or four goals now? I'm not sure exactly how many, but uh, a tight game in London. But I fully expect the Seagulls to come away with all three points and I'm going to go for a 1-0 away win. They're, uh, defensively, they're very good, only conceding one goal this season, which is the best mm. in the Premier League. Moving on to the next match, we've got Crystal Palace, the Eagles coming up against Brentford, an all-London affair. Crystal Palace, I think they took a two-goal lead against Manchester City, they but they succumbed to pressure in the end. Haaland scoring his first hat-trick in, in the fact, for Premier a, um, League. Crystal Palace victory last week mm. for that, mainly because of their really poor records, or Man City's poor record against Palace at home, and I was very nearly right on that one until Haaland turned up, so... Obviously. Uh, coming up against Brentford's side, who drew unfortunately for them at home against Everton which wasn't the, yeah that, not the greatest of results there I think this one's going to be tight I'm not sure I think Zaha still yeah. may be missing for this uh, for this match so I'm just going to give Crystal Palace to nick it mm -hmm. this one 2-1 interesting yeah it's, it's going to be tight for me but with the way that Everton did play against Brentford like what well, but with the way that Brentford did play against Everton last time around and the way they should have won in that manner I've got to edge it to Palace, and Palace really impressing me. If they can play like they did in the first half of the game against they did against Man City, then yeah, I'm going to back them for a win here, two one. But you've got to think Palace have only won once this season so far. That's true, but they've had some difficult fixtures mm -hmm. to be fair. Anyway, moving on to the eight o'clock game between Leeds and Everton. Everton hapless, not doing much. They haven't even won this season, and Leeds have been superb until that loss against Brighton. Mind Brighton were very, very good last time around. I'm going to back a, a, a quite a big scoreline towards Leeds here because they are, have been blistering an attack. Maybe Rodrigo getting some more goals there. The service coming in from Dan James as well, who's been very good, may I add. Harrison. And uh, Jack Harrison as well. Very, very good player. I'm going to go 3-1 Leeds. Yeah. I'm God, I never thought I'd be saying that. A bit tentative on this one going for a 3-1 victory myself. Everton... Although they've been losing, they've lost a couple and they've drawn yeah. a couple, they, they're not conceding many. So defensively, <laughs> they're, they're fairly sound. However, like you, I am going to go for a 3 1 victory. I think Leeds will have to bounce back or they'll feel they need to bounce back after that away defeat against yeah. Brighton. So moving on to the Wednesday fixtures, we've got Bournemouth coming up against Wolves and Bournemouth on the back of that nine. 
nil defeat at Anfield against Liverpool. Terrible. Which was uh, equal in the uh, the high score in the Premier League, of course, not in football history. Wolves, a decent 1-1 draw at home against uh, Newcastle. So... I think Bournemouth will play a lot better. They're going to have to, in front of their home fans, they, they owe their supporters uh, a performance. However, I was quite impressed with Wolves against New Newcastle. And I think they'll come away with all three points in this match. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 away victory to Wolves. Like with what happened with Southampton the second time around when they lost 9-0 to Man United, I don't think I think Bournemouth are going to be a lot like Southampton because where they didn't bounce back and they struggled with their confidence ever since that game. Wolves like to lick it 1-0 a lot, so I'm going to go 1-0 victory to Wolves. Yeah, which would be their first victory of the season. And they they well. need it, and they've been playing all right, to be fair. Anyway, moving up, moving on to a team that's been playing really well and another that hasn't been playing great, and even there's a bit of pressure on Steven Gerrard here. Arsenal against Aston Villa. Now, four, what is it, four victories, four Congrats. games played. Very, very good from Arsenal. They have been extremely impressing everyone. That Odegaard goal coming early on, and then, of course, the Gabriel goal in the end as well. Very, very good performance by Arsenal. And to be honest, they're going to keep it up because Aston Villa, their confidence is dipping a lot. They've, they've lost the last two games on the bounce. With the squad they're having, they should be doing so much better. So I'm going to go 2-0 to Arsenal. Yeah, three defeats in their opening four fixtures. For the villains, not good. Really poor. Pre-season and everything. We're expecting something a little bit better from Aston Villa. Arsenal, the only team in the Premier League with a 100% record. Looking good. I don't think they'll smash Villa because Villa um, will need to tighten up. I think they'll go there and probably put a lot of uh, players behind the ball. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 victory. Jesus is playing um, very well. I don't think they'll concede because that uh, um, Arsenal rear guard looks very good, even though the likes of Zinchenko yeah. uh, are currently injured, I believe. So swiftly moving on to the next match, we've got Manchester City up against Nottingham Forest. Forest losing earlier this evening, at the time recording this Sunday, a 2-0 at home against Tottenham. Man City coming back from that 2-0 deficit to win 4-2 in the end against Crystal Palace. So I think this will be a straightforward victory. Depends if Manchester City can they stop these goals from going in there. I think they started the, the, the season with uh, like two shutouts, as they say in America. But the uh, last couple of matches, they have been conceded, looking a bit shaky at the back. But I'm going to go for um, a clean sheet in this one. I'm going to go 4-0 to Manchester City. But interesting to see if Haaland will actually start, because Pep was, uh, there was murmurings of him being rested for the mid yeah. matches. Yeah, to be fair, Pep does love a rotation, doesn't he? But it's going to be either go one or two ways. I think it's either Nottingham Forest is going to turn up. Man City are going to lay off the gas and they're not going to expect it and Forrest is just going to go for it. Or Man City, Pep's not going to be happy about the amount of goals they've been letting, especially in that Palace game where they went 2-0 uh, down, of course. Yeah. And they're just going to want to overload. I think it'll be in, a little bit in between there, but I'm going to go for a 3 0 Man City clearance of Nottingham Forest. Anyway, moving on next up, we've got West Ham against Spurs. Now, Spurs 2-0 against Forest away at the City Ground. That's a tough place to go and fair place to Spurs for getting that third in the table. Uh, two wins and one, three wins and one draw, which is very, very good. And then West Ham off the foot of the table today with that win against Aston Villa after a poor start to the season. I'm really not sure what, what to go for this one because West Ham Spurs is a bit of a derby, isn't it? Um, Tottenham High Road derby or whatever they call it. I have no idea. Uh, but I don't know. Last time around West Ham won it. I think Spurs will just about nick it this time at the Stadium. So I'm going to go 2-1 to Spurs. 2 Conte, I'm fired up. 2-1, one. One, I think. Spurs will win by a couple of goals. I don't think they'll yeah. concede in this one at the West Ham Stadium. They should be in good voice there at the, the London Stadium. But I'm going to go for 2-0. Uh, this Tottenham team is, is, is very, looking very, very good. good. Yeah. They could have won that match against Nottingham Forest as well. But Harry Kane had his, uh, has his goal saved by yes, Henderson. Who, it, was a, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a magnificent save in the end. So, yeah, a straightforward 2-0 away victory for Spurs in this one. Next we've got Liverpool off the back of that 9-0 victory. Yeah. Coming up against Newcastle, who played very well themselves. Currently find themselves in 7th position, but they have 
had drawn their last three matches. They are scoring goals though, to be fair. They are Liverpool now. That was their um, first victory of the season and I think they'll gain all three points in this one, but I think it'll be a lot tighter and Newcastle will uh, cause them a lot of problems. However, ultimately, with the firepower that they've got and the confidence after that 9-0 victory, I can see a 2-1 victory to Liverpool. Interesting, yeah. I, I don't, I've really been impressed by the way Newcastle is playing. Yeah, first of all, that's a maximum goal earlier today was an absolute beauty the way he struck it on that volley against Wolves. Uh, I think they will put up an absolute fight and New the fan Newcastle fans there pack out the Anfield Road end and they'll be as superb as they always yeah. are. They sold out against Wolves today as well, to be fair to them. But I think Liverpool at home, they're just going to sneak it, aren't they? So I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory to the Reds. And finally, we have Leicester City against Manchester United. On a Thursday night. Disgusting. Now, which way do you go about this one? Leicester have been really poor. Lots of fans calling for Rodgers' head. Man United. Mm. One win against Southampton could, should have really been more. That win against Southampton should have been a bit more, I think, for Man United, especially with the way the Saints have been playing recently. But I don't know. You don't know which team of Man United is going to turn up at the moment, but I think it's going to be a positive one. I'm going to say 2-0 Man United. Yeah, I think they were a little bit fortunate to gain all three points in, yeah. that, um, in that win at Southampton. Leicester, they are scoring goals. I think something like six goals they scored, but they have conceded 10 this season. Mm, I think true. they're probably going to cancel each other out. I'm not sure how Man United will cope with the pace in that, in that Leicester City uh, side. So I think it's going to end up all square. I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one score, line, which will see Leicester double their points tally for the And season. saying that, I've just had a notification from Fabrizio Romano on my watch saying oh, that yes. um, Anthony to Manchester United, here we go. Mm -hmm. Agreement in principle with Ajax, 100 million euro fee. Contract until June 2027 with an option till 2028. Wow. Announcement may be made tomorrow. Which probably means he won't be available for that. Well, he might be actually. For they have to register in midday mm. before, I believe. Yeah, we'll, well, we'll, championship we will see. So, so he, we, he may actually feature on Thursday if he's fit. BBL also predicted Southampton 0, Chelsea 2. Whereas NWM predicted Southampton 1, Chelsea 2. As usual, make sure you leave your predictions over at the Super Brew website. There's a link in the description and the code in the description as well. Congratulations, as we've said already, to Louis Smith with that yep. absolutely humongous score, humongous scoreline. Even midweek football. I'm going to Cardiff Newton, will there we be are. a vlog this time? There will be a vlog, though. There's a vlog for Preston, one there. there. For account. the zero goals that happened in 22 shots we had. Yeah. Oh, let's just hope we can score in this one. Subs my channel link in the description below. We will. It is football galore at the moment. We've got midweek matches, and we've also got to do the predictions for game week six, which takes place obviously on Saturday, Sunday yeah. next weekend. So we'll probably get that prediction show out on Wednesday slash Thursday. But thanks for joining us once again. Enjoy your midweek Premier League fixtures, and we'll see you all in yeah, the next video. Be, yeah, I just want to be great. Yeah, I just want to be great. Yeah, I just wanna be great, yeah, yeah, yeah.